The Gulf of Mexico is America's sea. Surrounded by Central and North America, it's the ninth largest ocean basin in the world, covering almost 600,000 square miles. That's twice the size of Texas. And with over 15,400 species found in the Gulf, it's no surprise that the Gulf is one of the most productive waters in the world for aquatic organisms. It provides habitat for many of our most important seafoods. And the Gulf is productive in other ways, too. It holds one of the largest reserves of oil and gas in the world. This combination of ecosystem productivity, energy importance, and accessibility has made it one of the most important waters on Earth to people. Unfortunately, it's also one of the most threatened by human actions and neglect. The Gulf is filled with salt water, but it's the freshwater inflows from watersheds on land that greatly affect the health and productivity of the aquatic life there. The freshwater inflow brings nutrients that provide growth of phytoplankton and zooplankton, the base of an extensive food chain that includes many forms of marine life. Even the federally endangered Kemp's Ridley sea turtle has found refuge in the Gulf, making one of its most important nesting sites at the Padre Island National Seashore, the longest undeveloped barrier island in the United States. But along with nutrients, inflow also brings waste fertilizers, and other pollutants. Humans control the quality and quantity of freshwater inflows that reach the Gulf. So how will you and I protect this important aquatic resource? We must make wise decisions about freshwater inflow and how we use and enjoy this majestic body of water. The future of America's sea depends on us.